good morning. What are we on? Let me look. Vlog as much as I can miss day six. There wasn't a five. We didn't vlog day five. I mean, I started vlogging day five, but night before last, I didn't sleep. Well, I got like five hours of choppy sleep and I was vlogging. I even started my vlog like at 5.30 in the morning. <sighs> right out of the gate. And then I was doing okay, doing okay, doing okay. And I was gonna come home. We were gonna do the recipe. Listen, by four o'clock yesterday afternoon, I slammed into a wall. I was done. I didn't get a lunch break. I was starving. And I couldn't even, on the way home, I couldn't even, I was just zapped. Like zero energy. So I was like, there's no way I can generate enough energy to do this recipe and finish this vlog. I was exhausted. So on the way home, I called Shane and I'm like, are you hungry? Yeah. I said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to swing by Sonic. And he's like, okay. I said, what do you want? He's like, whatever you bring home. I said, okay. Y'all know. Two cheeseburgers, two tater tots, two Diet Dr. Peppers. And that was my cheat meal because I ate every single bit and it was so good. Woo! So yesterday... Yesterday, I went about 500 calories over what I should have, but sometimes you got to do that. And I'll tell you what, I got my belly full. I didn't exercise. I just, I didn't, I didn't have it. All I knew was my stomach was empty and I was exhausted. And good, bad, or ugly, I ate every bit of that cheeseburger and every one of those tater tots with some kind of yum yum sauce. Shane pulls this sauce out of the fridge. Been in there forever. Probably expired. Whatever. It's called Yum Yum Sauce. I don't know where it came from. I think Dalton brought it over. It might be from the Dollar Tree. Anyway, I don't know what's in it. I don't know what kind of magic it is, but Shane was dipping his tater tots in it, and I said, what is that? What are you dipping in? Because, gross. You know... I said, let me try that. Don't you know I dipped my tater tot in there and I couldn't get enough? Before I knew it, I was dipping every tater tot in the yum yum sauce. I was dipping my cheeseburger in the yum yum sauce. And I was like, dang, that's good. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna find out where that came from. I feel like it came from the Dollar Tree, but I don't know. But I'm gonna buy a new fresh bottle because it was so good. And listen, I got my belly full, I went upstairs, I went to bed, turned on the TV. What was I watching? Oh, I started watching um, a documentary called um, The Ghost Train something. It's a documentary, Exposed the Ghost Train. Um, Stephanie, Coupon and Girl, was talking about how she was watching it. Um, she said it's, it's sad. Um, around 7.45, 8 o'clock, um, I started it. And it's three episodes. And it's, it's heartbreaking. I had to turn it off. It was heartbreaking. So, Stephanie, if you see this, I can't... I'm, I want to finish watching it, but it's not something I can watch before I go to sleep. Because it's heartbreaking. Um, but anyway... It's on Netflix, and I do want to finish it. It's tragic, I, I want to finish it. My heart goes out to those families. Uh, but anyway, I started watching that, and it was getting to the tragedy part, and I, I was like, I can't. And in the, in the interim, me and Stephanie are texting. I'm like, I'm about to start this ghost train. And she's like, what do you think? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just 30 minutes in. But anyway, me and Stephanie were texting back and forth. And, um, but I'll tell you what, when it started getting to the tragic part, I'm like, I can't go to sleep with this. So I turned it off and 
switched it over to um, another channel that I really, really love. Uh, it's a history channel. I'll get into all that later. Um, but I turned that on to get my mind off of it. And I'm going to tell you what, 15 minutes later, I was asleep. I was asleep by 8.30. And then I got up at 5 a.m. this morning. And I feel like a whole new person. I feel like a whole new person. I was exhausted. So I'm like, I better jump on here and do vlog day six. <laughs> so I'm out the door early. It's 724. Uh, I wanted to swing by Target and get some uh, protein Pop-Tarts that Tyler Ramey's talking about. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough time. We'll see. If not, maybe I'll go get them on my lunch break. So anyway... I do need a little something to snack on. But I've got protein bars in my drawer. Um, do you like my... I didn't get to do an outfit of the day, but do you like my earrings? Those are a pair that Chrissy sent me. I sent her a picture just a few minutes ago, and I'm like, Chrissy, how cute are my earrings? <gasps> anyway, I'm wearing... Um, uh, Cream-colored joggers a white t-shirt that I got from one of our um, nurses at work actually, one of our associates. She got it off Timu and it was way too small for her. And she's like, I don't know what to do with it. Does anybody want it? And I went and tried it on and I said, I'll have it. I said, how much do I owe you? She goes, nothing girls from Timu. She's like, it was like $4. And I'm like, I'll have that. So it's just a white t-shirt and it's kind of stretchy. Love it. Denim jacket. It's from Walmart. Little white tennis shoes from Walmart that are starting to fall apart. I have a pair of, I have a wish list on Amazon, and I have a pair of Lacoste white leather tennis shoes on my wish list. And they've got the little alligator. Back in my day, if you're Gen X, you called it Izod. We called it Izod. Now the, the generation now calls it Lacoste. Any of them that even know about it or wear it. Uh, but it's the little the, the little blue green alligator. Y'all remember that? Anyway, I've got those in my Amazon basket. Um, if I can remember, I'll insert a picture. They're so cute. I think they're like $70. So I'm waiting until after Christmas and then I'm going to get those for myself. Uh, but anyway. Okay, I'm just running my mouth. Uh, we're going to do a recipe tonight. The spinach artichoke cheesy pinwheels. No, it's not low carb, but I want to make them because they look divine. But right now, I'm about to get off of my favorite highway, 169. Ugh. Although, there's less traffic right now. Um, less traffic right now. Which is nice. But I'm not trying to be out here this early every morning. Okay, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to run into Target because I'm about a mile away. See if I can't find those Pop-Tarts. And I need some yogurt and bananas. Yogurt, bananas, Pop-Tarts. Okay, that's what we're doing. I'm looking for easily digestible foods. Take the Pop-Tarts out of it. The bananas and the yogurt, those are easily digested and they're great for breakfast. Okay, I'll show you what I end up with, if anything. We're about to do like a one minute haul. Okay, I got some whole grain bread. Because I want some toast, and whole grain is good for digestion. Got some bananas, because bananas are good for digestion. I got a little dill of cottage cheese, also good for digestion. This is horrible for you, but it's all they have that I could afford to put on my toast. Country crock. And then, look what I found, Tyler Ramey. I found the protein Pop-Tarts. I almost couldn't find them. Couldn't find them, couldn't find them. And I was like, oh, you know what? They're going to be over by pharmacy with all the protein powder. Mm. See, when you start eating protein bars and high protein and you're, 
you're watching all your food, you're going to find some of your food in and around the pharmacy. Your protein bars and your, um, your collagen and your protein powders. And I always, I know that at Walmart, but I, um, I never, ever go to Target. Never. I'm not a Target girl. Um, I never have been. Never. Um, because I can never find what I need. Like, I can't find what I need. Um, and <clears throat> now on the grocery side, I'm usually able to find what I need. I'm usually able to find what I need. Walmart's a, a little bit cheaper um, on some of their food stuff. But food is just high all the way around. And then, um, but as far as like clothes and things like that, no luck ever. Never. So, I just don't mess with Target, really. Anyway, I got about nine minutes to get to work. But it's only a few miles up the road, so. Let's go do that. I'm going home. I'm on my way home. These people are inflating their yard art. You know, the inflatable Christmas thing. Anywho, I'm going home. I'm going home. Um, we have a, a question of the day. But before we get to that, I think I'm going to start doing a question of the day if I, when I can remember. Because that's fun. I like a question of the day. Um, but I wanted to get on here and tell you guys... Um, I have not forgot about our purging series. We're still doing it. And um, I thought, oh my gosh, I need to make that part of vlog as much as I canvas. Because when you're vlogging every day of the month or as much as you can, you kind of run out of content. <laughs> you're like, well, I've cooked this, I've hauled that, I've worn this, we've gone there, we've done that, you know, and, um, I just thought, I wonder if they think that I've forgotten about purging, because, um, I haven't, the answer is no, I'll never, ever, ever forget about purging, it's just a time thing, you know, y'all know that, so, I was reading all your comments, I'm trying to catch up on comments from months and months ago, so, um, if I haven't hearted your comment or replied to your comment, I can't reply to every comment. It's virtually impossible. Um, but I, I do sprinkle comments in there. Um, if I was a stay at home wife and I could, re I could reply to everybody, but I, it's, it's virtually impossible. Um, but I can tell you that I read every single comment. Every single comment. So, um, with that being said, I was reading through comments back months that I'm trying to catch up on. And, um, I was getting to the ones about everybody. We're talking about purging, purging, purging. And I was like... One, I need to get on there and tell them that I have not forgot about the purging. We're still going to purge. Um, but the question, and reading all those comments is what is leading me up to the question of the day. So, reading and replying, reading and replying. So, I'm reading and I'm replying. And I, I can only do like a handful a day, right? Um, because I have to work and I have to take care of my house. And my husband and my adult children still need me. You know, life. Um, but I was doing that for about 15 minutes um, at my desk and as I was leaving comments and harding and reading I was like I wonder if they ever read my replies so that's the question of the day <laughs> when you guys comment and if I leave you a comment in return do you guys read those it's okay if you do it's okay if you don't it's not a big deal um, because, you know, I can't expect you to, you know, read everything I reply. Just like you can't expect me to reply to everything. So, that's the question of the day. If you've ever gotten a reply from me, do you read those? 
just a question. No, no hard feelings. No, none of that. I was just wondering. Um, anywho, I'm on my way home. I'm going to get off here and watch the road because I'm about to pull into heavy traffic and, uh, I got to pay attention. So, uh, let's go home and let's cook up some spinach artichoke cheesy roll-ups, pinwheels, croissant things. I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about this one. Hey, hey, we're home. So I um, am going to make this spinach artichoke pinwheel thing. And I'm going to show you guys the ingredients first. And then we will measure it all out and whatnot and get started. So let me show you what we need. Okay, you're going to need two cans of crescent rolls, garlic powder, onion powder. You're going to need some sour cream. Artichoke hearts, mayonnaise, but I'm going to use Miracle Whip, Parmesan mozzarella, one egg, baby spinach. Hope I got enough. I think I do. Salt and pepper. Easy peasy. Okay, let's get this party started. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bowl. And we are going to, all in one bowl. This is super easy. We are going to put in our spinach. The recipe will be down below, so I'm not going to talk about measurements because um, I've already measured everything out. And I don't remember what's what, okay? So just click the link, go on over, and find it there. But anyway, um, I do know it's two cups of spinach, which I probably barely have that, but it's fine. Two cups of spinach. We're going to put in a third of a cup of mayonnaise. I do remember that. Mayonnaise. I'm using Miracle Whip. I like that tangy zip. Shane wants me to use mayonnaise, but I'm using Miracle Whip. Okay. We're going to dump in a 14 ounce can of artichoke hearts. Look at me. I'm doing way better than I thought I was doing on measurements. Going to dump in. Okay. So these you have to, the can, you have to drain them and chop them. Um, you also need to chop your spinach. I didn't mention that. Shane and the puppies are in here munching on artichoke hearts. Well, they took a bite. There's that. We're going to dump in one cup of sour cream. This is eight ounces, so that's one cup. I can't believe I'm remembering these measurements. I'm on point tonight. Dump that in there. Okay, and then it called for, I think, a quarter cup of Parmesan, but I love Parmesan, so we're going to do a half a cup. Voila. And then it called for, I think it was, yeah, it was a whole cup of mozzarella. Called for pepper. You can measure that if you want. Or salt and pepper. Measure it if you want. Don't measure it. It calls for onion powder, which was, I think, a quarter teaspoon, but we're just going to do that. It calls for a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, but you can't have too much garlic powder. Okay, that's it for that. Y'all listen, mix all that in a bowl. Oh, it smells delish. So we're going to mix all that together. I wonder who came up with this. Because yum, it smells so good. Mix all that together. Oh, y'all need to preheat your oven to 375. My oven is old and small, so I cook everything on 350. But you're going to cook it on 375 for like 20, 25 minutes. Okay? Set that aside. Then you're going to get your crescent rolls. Okay? This is too easy. Okay. 
You need all this to stay together, okay? It to stay together. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, this one needs to go down here. This needs to go down here, okay? Roll them up side by side, okay? Get them evened out. Okay, get your other can. You could cut this recipe in half if you wanted. I haven't even changed clothes yet. I'll go change clothes when I get um, get this in the oven. Get my jammies on. You could make your own dough with this, I guess, too. But crescents are flaky, so we want that. This is a flaky situation. Okay, so when you do this, you want to press it all together, okay? We need everything to be sealed. Seal all that up. I better hash or I won't get monetized. They'll get me for copyrighting my little Jeopardy jingle humming. Okay, sew it all together. Make sure everything's mushed together. Okay, we want everything mushed. Probably be better with a rolling pin, huh? Okay. All right, there you have it. Now we are going to spread this on there. Ooh, my hands are slippery. Dump it right smack in the middle. At least that's how I'm going to do it. Okay. What Shane would take this right here and just eat it right out of the bowl if I let him. Okay. So we're going to spread this out. This recipe is really easy. I feel like we might have some trouble when it's time to start rolling. You know what I mean? I have a little trouble with the roll. Y'all know what we need to make again? We need to make a taco ring again. I love a taco ring. I just, you know, this is a splurge. I had a cheeseburger yesterday, and then I won't eat much of this because I'm not allowed to, but I did save some calories for this. I saved some calories and some carbs just for this. So, I've gotten down to a point in my weight loss where I don't need to lose any more weight but I need to maintain, so I'm allowed to have, um, just to maintain, you don't have to be as strict, right? You still have to, you know, carry on with your lifestyle, but I can indulge a little more than I used to. Okay. Okay, isn't that pretty? There's that. Okay, let me wash my hands.
Little piece of advice, don't take your crescent rolls out of the refrigerator until last minute, because when they start warming up a little bit, room temperature, it makes it harder to manipulate. Okay. If you're gonna take a pan, this is Corningware. I don't know where I got it. I think Corningware is timeless and you can put it in the oven. Coat your pan. Coat your pan with oil. I have extra virgin olive oil spray. I know it's not best for you, but it's what we have and there's just a little bit left. So we're gonna do that. Remember your oven's on 375. And then it said, take the short end, which mine's pretty even, but take the short end and you're gonna roll. You're gonna roll this up. Okay. Sticking to my, sticking to my cutting board. That's okay. You may have to seal as you go a little bit. It's okay. No big deal. Love it. We're loving it. It's busting at the seams a little bit. That's okay. Okay. This is my first time to make this, so a piece of advice. Um. Seal your stuff better, okay? See, mine's busting, but that's okay. I'm gonna need a bigger pan. That's not gonna work. We're going to get a good knife, okay, and we're going to cut, oh gosh, nice, can you guys see, I can't see what I'm doing, let's, uh, let's move, let's move, there we go, there we go, now we're making bacon, two, had to mark my cuttings. Okay, at this part, you need your crescent rolls to be cooler and um, um, probably roll it up a little tighter than I did. These are going to have to be eaten with a fork. God, this is way too much for me and Shane. Almost do these in a casserole. Make it easier on yourself. So my crescents got, um, they were sitting out for probably 20 minutes before I started, so they're a little soft. Wait till last minute to pull those crescents out. Ooh, they're still pretty, aren't they? we go. Let me wash my hands again. Hold, please. 
Okay. This pan's a little too big, but the other one's too small. So we're going to go put this in the oven. P.S. Mark Neff, I need you to know that my oven is clean. All of my dirty oven haters, my oven is clean. Okay? So, Wyatt handled that for me. I am so thankful, and I just needed to announce that because anytime I've ever made videos before, people get sideways about my oven, but I'm busy. Okay, let's go put this in the clean oven. Can you see? It's clean. Okay, I'm gonna slide that right in. Alexa. Oh, I moved her to the garage. I used to have her in here. Let's set a timer. I wonder if my watch has a timer. Alarms. No, nope, that's not. It's 6.45. Timer. Add timer. Thirsty? Ross is thirsty. 20 minutes. Okay. It says 20 to 25 minutes. So I've got mine on 3.50. We're going to... Um, let that go for 20 minutes. I'm going to clean up my mess. I'm going to go change my clothes. And we'll be back for a taste test. Stop. I forgot to do the egg wash. We got to do the egg wash. Let me point you down. I pulled it right back out of the oven. Forgot the egg wash. Improvise how? I can't find my little brush. What do I do with my life? So we're going to have to just improvise somehow with our egg wash because I can't find my brush. I have to go to the Dollar Tree and get one. This is, makes it harder because I don't want scrambled eggs on top of my dill whoppers. It doesn't do that, baby. It doesn't? No. I don't want scrambled egg pinwheels. I can't believe I forgot that. Yes, I can. I can believe it. Baby, I can't have all the green checks in the perfect column every day all the time. I can't do that. I can have about 80% of the green checks in the good job column. Sometimes I gotta have red checks in the, uh-oh, I messed up, I forgot column. I always tell Shane when I mess up something or I done him wrong, I say, add it to my list of done me wrongs. So this goes on my list of done me wrongs. Okay, I think that's enough. We don't want breakfast pinwheels. Okay, back to the oven we go. Okay, I think they're ready. We're going to pull them out. Can you close this for me? Mm -hmm. oh. Will you close that? I said yes. Oh, I didn't hear you. Thumbnail. Can you turn the power off? Yes, please. Woo, 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 woo. You guys see that? Look at that. Look at them are pretty. We have our little purple plates from Timu. Thanks, Aria. Okay, we need a... Let's keep her out of it. Oh, hey. Okay. Let's pull one out. Let's pull this one out. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. 
Did you do the egg wash or no? I did the egg wash. Look at that. It's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay. Egg it, look. Yum. It's the same color as your countertop. Yes. Okay. It's hard to film everything. All right, lover. Oh my gosh. Don't burn yourself. Really? They're hot. They are hot. The piping hot. Look at that steam. That'll feed an army. Listen, we can't be feeding that to the dogs for breakfast. Roscoe can't have that. He can't have artichoke? He can't have carbs and cheese and... Is there cheese in it? There's Parmesan and mozzarella. Did you just tongue it? Mm -hmm. Do it again. No. You're about to lose a... Not, he's just there. dancing. Pretty good. That's good. Mmm. I put more garlic powder and more Parmesan than it called for. Add a little bit more. Parmesan and garlic than it calls for because I can see this getting bland real easy Can't you? Oh, that's good It's very moist. I feel like they want a little sauce or something like a little sauce or something. Get some sauce. I don't know That's good It's almost like a like a cheesy bread It's almost like a cheesy bread Oh my God. You know who would go nuts over this is Alex. My oldest would flip out over this. If Riley could eat cheese or dairy, she'd love it. I think everybody would love it, but my first thoughts go to Alex. That's good. You know, this would really go good with some soup or make a little salad on the side. Mmm. We need another one. Mm -hmm. Do we need to add or change anything? I feel oh. like it wants like a little sauce of some sort. This is stupid good. He feels like it needs sauce. I don't. Because it's don't very think, moist. I don't think it needs it. I oh. think it wants it. It wants it. You want it. Are you going to put ranch on it? Yeah, I'm just going to do a little on the side. But it wants like a red sauce to me. Like a... Like not a hot, you know, a marinara. Yeah, like a marinara, a little marinara, like on the side, not over it. Just like to dip it, because like I said, it's almost like a cheesy bread. This is so good. I think it would go good with super salad. Okay, after yeah, it'd this, be like great as a, as a side for a, a, like a <clears throat> like a potato soup or something. Yeah, it needs a soup on the side. Because it's more of a cheesy garlic bread. Coupon and girl the other day went to Little Caesars and she got the cheesy stuffed breadsticks and I was watching her video like drooling. So I sent her a text and I'm like, girl, you are killing me with the Little Caesars cheesy breadsticks. <laughs> And then yesterday she was eating KFC. I miss it. I miss that. On a free day, I'm gonna have to get some KFC. These seem pretty easy. Were they pretty simple? They were super easy. My only tip would be leave your crescent rolls in the refrigerator until you're ready to roll them out. Because when it hits room temperature, they start sticky and they don't roll as well. You know what I mean? But these, these rolled up. I mean, they turned out beautiful. And if you have a lot of people to feed, that use the normal, the normal um, 
Collins, use the normal um, measurements. If I could do this over, or if Shane and I ever want it again, I'll just use one roll of, I'll cut it in half. Because this is a lot of calories and fat. Or roll your own dough. We talked about that. I was like, you can roll your own dough, but this is flaky. You want the flaky crescent. If you roll your own dough, it's going to be more like a, a, not the flaky. Is it? This is so good. Unless you know how to make homemade flaky dough. Oh my God. He's getting another one. I got to walk away. You guys, this is probably, I feel like it needs a little more twang. I don't feel like it needs more twang. You don't? I feel like it wants like a like a little red sauce on the side. Yeah. I feel like maybe a marinara would be good. That's what I'm saying. Like a yeah, red mm -hmm. sauce, a marinara. I'm like, I gotta walk away or I'm gonna But it's very but it's fine on its own. Yeah. And it's good with a little ranch if you want. Doesn't need it. Okay. We'll with a it. soup it would be good. A little, good with a a little soup. potato soup or a little a cream creamy soup. It's very much a comfort food. Very much a comfort food. I don't know. Define comfort food. Where it makes your heart and your soul feel good. Like if you're feeling a little down. You know, you when you eat for comfort. For me, this is hearty. And it's it's very much a comfort food. If I'm what's sad a, or What's something. another comfort food? Is a coney a comfort for food? For me? Is a coney dog I, a comfort food? I feel food? like everybody's comfort food is different. For me, this is comfort food. Macaroni and cheese. Um... Roast carrots, potatoes, um, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and gravy. A coney? Um, a coney could be comfort food. Comfort's whatever you're in the mood for. A cheeseburger? Last night, cheeseburger was real good for me. I'll sit and eat this whole pan. So I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend she make re this. She recommends it. What do you say? Do you recommend it? I recommend He's it. He's going back in. We're going back in. I recommend it. Not for the caloric faint of heart. <laughs> Not for the caloric faint of heart. Roscoe wants some, but he can't have any. Incredible. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. See you in the next video.